Hi everyone, my name is Ayla, and today I want to show you eight chords that every beginner should know because they'll help you start to build dexterity with your fingers and that's great, but most importantly, these chords will help you play so many songs and you'll get so much mileage out of these chords and you'll probably use them for the rest of your guitar playing life. And so, the very first chord I want to show you is the first chord I learned, E major. Everyone loves E major. And I'm just taking my middle finger, putting it on the second fret of the A string, third finger on the second fret of the D string, and lastly, my first finger on the first fret of the G string. And what's very cool about this chord is if I want to play not E major, but E minor, all I do is take my first finger off. E major, E minor. And I just encourage you to hear the difference between a major chord and a minor chord. Some people describe major as being happier sounding and minor as being sadder sounding, but you can start to build your own personal relationship with what these chords feel like and sound like to you. So those are already the first two chords on this list. Now I want to show you another chord that I think you'll encounter a lot, and that is A major. Sounds like this. And because it's A major, A is the starting note of the chord, so we're actually not even going to play the low E string at all. And so what you do is you take your first finger, put it on the second fret of the D string, middle finger on the second fret of the G, and your third finger on the second fret of the B string. Like I said earlier, avoid the low E string, strum from the A string down. That's A major. So the fourth chord, this is another classic. It's great to know. This is D major. It sounds like this. And the way I'm playing that, first finger on the second fret of the G, my third finger on the second fret of the B, middle finger on the second fret of the high E string. And because this is a D major chord, D is the starting note of the chord, I'm going to avoid the low E string I'm going to avoid the A string, strum from the D string down, just like this. And the next thing I want to encourage you to try, if this chord shape is already familiar to you and you feel like you really got it under your fingers, try taking your middle finger off and then putting it back on. Now try putting your pinky here on the third fret of the high E string. And just try playing around with that. Those are some other really cool ways to play a D major chord. So before we move on to the fifth chord, I encourage you to try switching from the E major to the D major to the A major. You could even throw an E minor in there too. But I do want to point out that if you play E major to D major to A major, you're playing Back in Black by ACDC. Very cool. That was one of the first songs I learned. It's the fifth chord. It's C major time, because you're going to run into this chord very frequently. And the way I play it is I put my third finger on the third fret of the A string, middle finger on the second fret of the D string, and my first finger is here on the first fret of the B string. And we're going to avoid the low E string. Don't worry about that. Just play from the A string down like this. There's our C major chord. What's really cool about this chord is if I take my first finger off, I'll be playing a C major seven chord, which is the sixth chord on this list. And again, I encourage you to hear the difference between a regular C major and C major seven. And some people describe C major 7 as being a slightly more beautiful sounding chord, more full, a little richer. And the reason for that is because we're just adding an extra special note to a C major chord. And it makes it sound like that. And I think this is a beautiful chord to know, and it's a lot of fun to play. And it's only two fingers. So that brings us to the seventh chord on this list, which is G major. 
I wanted to throw a chord at you that uses all four fingers, because I think it is great to learn chords that use all your fingers. And there are a few other ways to play this chord with just three fingers, and you maybe have encountered other ways to play it before. But again, I really encourage you to try learning how to play a chord that uses all four fingers. It's great practice. And so I'm putting my middle finger on the third fret of the low E string. And then my first finger on the second fret of the A string. And then my third finger on the third fret of the B string. And lastly, my pinky on the third fret of the high E string. Sounds like this. It's a really full and wonderful sounding chord. So a great exercise for you is to try playing C major and switching to G major. It might be a little challenging at first, but if you can get this chord change down, you're going to be flying. You'll be doing great. Chord number eight. I wanted to throw a special chord at you because so far we've been looking at open chords. Some people call them cowboy chords, and they're great. But this is a special chord shape that you can actually move all around the neck. It's a great first step before playing bar chords, if you ever want to learn how to play bar chords. Let's say I want to play a G major special chord. Let's call it that. I'll put my first finger on the third fret of the low E string, because that's G, the root note of the chord, starting note of the chord. And then I'm going to put my third finger here on the fifth fret of the A string, pinky on the fifth fret of the D string, middle finger here on the fourth fret of the G, and the shape, like I said, can move all around the neck. And just trust your ear. There are certain places where you might encounter a little dissonance, and it doesn't work as well in some places as in others. But on the whole, this is such a great chord shape to know, because if you ever want to learn how to play a major bar chord, all you end up doing is flattening your first finger, which is easier said than done. But like I said, this is a great first step, and I think it's a really fun and beautiful sounding chord that I wish I knew when I was a beginner, because I would have had a lot of fun playing it. So just to reiterate, these are the eight chords that we went over today. This is E major, E minor, A major, D major, plus the special finger movement if you want to get crazy with it. And then we have C major, C major 7, G major, and our special chord shape. There you go. I hope you have fun practicing these chords and you learned a little something today. And leave a comment down below of what your favorite chord was that you learned in this lesson, or what your favorite chord in general is. I think we'd all love to know. So have a beautiful day. Peace. <laughs>